roll me. Oh my god, it's over. By the way, we're playing Super Auto Pets. It'd be like a, a famous bit. What do you think the, is the most famous bit of all time? You think it's who's on first? We're all friends here, right? Can we admit that who's on first is is not even mid? It's it's worse than mid. Minus two, it's so good. Like literally, what are you talking about? The the joke is that the guy's name is who, so it's confusing. That's like Mike Myers circa gold member comedy. Yes, it's hilarious. It's in the delivery. You know, you can listen to like a song that came out in. Or you, you, you could listen to something that Beethoven composed 400 years ago. I'm going to be honest. I don't really know when Beethoven lived. And you could appreciate it. You could look at a painting Pablo Picasso painted in the Middle Ages. And you could say, I appreciate the artistry. But comedy, is it's got to be one of the least timeless art forms out there. Like, comedy is, is dated a year after it comes in in the modern era even more so like when a meme comes out it's old by the time you see it for the first time you could be like hey check out this meme someone will look you dead in the face and be like oh yeah i saw that this morning where they give you a little scowl they go like oh yeah the hangover yeah it's pretty good for like an old movie i guess there are hilarious roman and greek plays Okay, I'm excited. I've never had uh, an Athenian in my chat before. I would like to say big ups to Sophocles. Everybody welcome Sophocles, to the, the, the writer of the classic Greek tragedies. Of course, there's uh, Oedipus Rex, Antigone. I'm going to guess that the other... I did, I did take a classics class at one point when I didn't know what to do with my life. I believe that the third... Classic Greek tragedy from Sophocles is called Saturnalia, but I might be mistaken. It's Lysistrata! Bro, how many times can I make that mistake? Lysistrata! I watched Ben-Hur recently. I'm gonna say something controversial. I don't think that there is... I don't... I think the first good movie came out... If I had to put a, a, an age on it, I'm going to say probably 1965. I think before 1965, there, there were no good movies. And what's crazy is that every year, it, it goes one ahead. So enjoy it, because next year is 1966. And then 1967, and, and so on and so forth. Bro hasn't seen Duck Soup? Listen, you piece of crap. I have seen Duck Soup. Duck Soup is kind of like, it's, it, in many ways, it's the inspiration for this bit. Bro, you wouldn't believe it. He pretends to be his own, the other guy's reflection in the mirror. It's not subversive. You're not an intellectual. He's just a duck. Gone with the wind? More like gone with the uh, mid. Gone with the um, mild. Something in there will work. You just gotta let it happen. Holy cow, we won. Dr. Zhivago, Dr. Shit Vago. <laughs> hmm, okay. Dr. Strangelove, how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. Dr. Suck Love, and how I learned to stop watching movies that aren't very good because they came out a long time ago, unlike good movies like Jurassic Park and The Hangover 2. Vertigo? Yeah, like, I get vertigo when um, my high expectations come down to earth from watching that bad movie that I've never seen, admittedly. Anyway, that's all I got. Okay, 2001 A Space Odyssey. I actually think that movie is, is that's a good one. I don't know if I'm the first person to notice that 2001 A Space Odyssey is pretty good. I'd like to apologize to Honeyballs. That's from 1968, though. I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts, then. They should make a movie called 2001 A Space Odyssey. Now, in 2023. You know what? It could be the sequel to Jonah Hill's mid-90s. Just a bunch of people wearing bucket hats and listening to Limp Biscuit. 
2001 A Space Odyssey, but it's just about the making of the best movie of 2001, Ben Stiller's Zoolander. Rotten Tomatoes Daily. Okay, I'm ready. It's from 1939. It's two words. It's, it's fucking duck soup, isn't it? Are you kidding me? 1939, undefined comedy, two hours and 12 minutes, duck soup. Oh! As, a, as one member of the female sex trying to be honest, we'll have to confess that we squirmed, but also we admit we saw many of our sisters in their true life characters. Little women. Directing ensemble scenes with upwards of half a dozen divas is no easy feat. Leave it to Kukor to corral that kind of star power into a two-hour-plus film that never takes a break to powder its nose. Back in 1939, they were like, holy shit, a two-hour-long movie? This is epic? Nowadays, Marvel's like introducing Squirrel Girl. Season one, 14 episodes. Each episode, 74 minutes long each. And don't forget to get the companion app to fill in the blanks. I have, abs I, I have no idea. Norma Shearer, Joan Crawford, and Rosalind Russell. It's Sunset, Snooset, it's Sunset Boulevard. That's from the 50s. Critics' Consensus, a feast of sharp dialogue delivered by an expertly assembled cast. Blank makes the transition from stage to screen without losing a step. Ain't, mis ain't misbehaving. Who farted? I'm going to guess this is Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. The women. Never heard of the movie before in my life. Who told me to play this? Name the women. Um, um, name the women. For a, it's for a dollar. Name the women. Um, I don't know. Why is this so hard? Fuck you, yoga bag. Name the women. Um, 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 I'm sorry. 